Hello students, in this video we will learn the basics of point command and the arc command, right? So arc command, it can be used to draw an arc which can be done by four methods. First is three point method in which the three points are start point, second point and end point of the arc. So if these three points are known to you, you will be able to draw a three point arc. Second is three point arc in which we know the center point of the arc, then the start point and the end point. So this is also three point arc. Third is the included angle method. So if you know the included angle, then also you can draw the arc. And the fourth one is chord method. So if you know the length of chord, you will be able to draw the arc, right? <clears throat> so in case of point command, I will be just marking the points to draw an arc easily. Okay. So point style in front of point style, you can see it is written P type. So basically I'll be selecting a point style. Okay. So the syntax for point style is P type. So you just need to write P type in the command palette and you will be able to uh, select point style, right? So let us move to the AutoCAD. Now for point, so you just need to go to draw here and here you can see it is multiple points or point command. You can see it is written point. So click over here right so i am just marking three points one two and three okay so you can see you can observe that these three points are not that much visible to us okay so to make these visible what you need to do you just write p type as you write p type okay you can just select this and you can see various point styles have appeared so you can select any of the point styles that you want let us say this is the point style i want to be using so you just click over here and press ok so just see the points that we had marked now these have been highlighted by the point style that we have selected right now let us go to arc command so arc command can be used from here or you can just write arc here in the command palette and press enter. So it is asking specify start point of the arc, right? So let us say this is the start point of the arc. This is, as I click over here, it will change the instruction which says specify second point of the arc. <clears throat> now this is the second point and then end point of the arc. So click on the end point. So just see this is the three point arc in which you know the start point you know the second point and you know the end point right so this is the first method to draw an arc let us go to the second method in which we know the center let us say this is the center and this is the start point right this is the start point and uh, the end point because we are drawing it randomly I cannot mark the end point over here so I'll go to arc command again okay select arc command it is asking specify start point of the arc or center so since here we need to specify the center point first so you select center click on center so this is the center point click on center point now it is asking specify start point as I click on center point it will ask for the start point click on the start point this is the start point now end point so <coughs> wherever you need to you want the end point to be uh, located so you just click over there so let us say this is the end point so this is the second type of arc that you can draw which is three point center points start point and end point right so the next method to draw an arc is included angle method right let us 
see what is included angle method so for this you will have to specify the center point and the start point right so select R command specify center point click on center this is the center point and then start point let us say this is the start point click on start point now you need to specify the angle you can see here it is given so click on angle then what is the included angle let us suppose the included angle is 120 degree okay so write 120 and press enter now <clears throat> This arc has been drawn with an included angle is equal to 120. Now what is the meaning of included angle? So just see, if I join the start point of the arc with the center and then center with the end point of the arc. So the angle subtended between these two lines, it should be 120 degree. Okay, let us find out the angle. Just see it is 120 degree okay so this is the included angle method of arc command to draw the arc command next is chord method the fourth one is chord method <clears throat> so if you know the length of chord you can draw the arc let us go to arc command again okay before arc command let us mark the points again you will need a center and you need the start point right so let us go to our command now center point click on this this is the center point this is the start point and now you can specify chord length so click on chord length let the chord length be equal to 30 okay so press enter so as you press enter you can see it is very small right so let us zoom it so if you join the two end points of the arc okay so this is basically the chord let us measure this so aligned method just see this is 30 right this is 30 so this this we can repeat also because you know this this was very small <clears throat> let us do it again so I suppose this thing is clear to you let us take the chord length greater than 30 let us go to arc command again center point this is the center this is the start point let it be equal to 100 okay first of all select chord length then let it be equal to 100 press enter so still you can see if I join it with this and I measure the length of this chord this is equal to 100 right so this is the chord method so these were the four methods by which you can use arc command I suppose these are clear to you so let us meet in the next video thank you so much